Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another NFTV video, massive game today. Becky Langley's side face Wolves, who are below us in the table, but they did give us a hiding last season when we were in the division lower. They beat us 5-1 last season. Burnley do not play today, so it's a good chance for Newcastle to extend that lead at the top. But we'll also keep an eye on Nottingham Forest's results today, we'll keep up to date. And... I've been told there's a very, very special war flags display today at Kingston Park. So let's go and get Dale. Let's go and meet Johnny and Joe up at Kingston Park. Let's see. Gannon, how are This is the stat man here on the left hand side, Matt. Ooh, of course, no introduction to who this man is. Hello, all right. Getting no, his, no look, he's looking at the lineups. Whoa, There's little Emmy. Little Emmy's taking a little look at the lineups as well. Smiling. Johnny boy. How are you doing? Our lad. Wow. Uncle Jeff. Well, Becky Langley has made the changes. Three new signings are coming straight in. Now, I've seen Bridget before just over the other side of the pitch. She actually looks really ill. So we'll probably ask Becky a little bit later what situation with Bridget, but she looks very ill because she's not even in the match this squad at all. Three new signings, as I say. It's, it's fantastic to see how they're going to get on here. Obviously, we've got the war flags display which is going to be very, very spectacular. I will say that, I know what's coming. Uh, two or three people have already stopped me and asked me to film it, but yeah, it's, look, it's, you can see it on your screen, you can see that it should hopefully win, as I mentioned, Burnley on playing, but um, of course, not the Forest are playing, so we will be keeping one eye on that, as I've already said, but lasses are behind me training, so um, let's see what they're getting up to. Right, so remember that flag display I was telling you about? We're going to go around and film it. So we've got a couple of flag bearers here and then we've got the guard of honour for the girls coming out and then as I say we've got that banner to come up and the flags are going to be waved. This will be brilliant this for the lasses. turn out once again despite the game being live streamed this is how loyal and hardcore our tune fans are Seeing no no pads today. Mm. <laughs> Will that make an appearance later, Johnny? Where's your no pads? Hey, this is this is the excuse today. It's not an excuse, but it is an excuse at the same time. Playing five a side, thought I had everything. And as I was walking, I was going, I don't swear. I was like, Damn it, I forgot my pen and paper, so I've used my phone today, so just start now. 
I did mine before I even came out, so I don't need it. What a ball by Amber. Let's help each other. interesting getting food than watching you cast United women play. I know, uh, missing a goal. Hot dog or a goal? Cho, you chose the hot dog. <laughs> Disgrace. Sorry. Welcome to the food channel it's with Joe. Nice How is the hot dog though? How is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Six, four. Oh, go on! Seven. Go on. <laughs> oh, actually. Five, that. A bit of a dodgy five, he says. We've gone here, yeah, I'm at home. Five. Sorry. <laughs> so we've got Tweet Deck open, we've got Wolves, Forest, NUFC, and the league. Forest have taken the lead against Fylde. Well done, well done. She didn't, well done. That close is not. Well done, cut by Picardo there. We should got to get it. Oh, oh, <laughs> Forest have gone 2 0 up. Domingo has scored. Start the second half, we have a mobile. This is a light, camera, camera, microphone, laptop. Forest are 3 0 up, they've missed a penalty. Their game is won. They're going to pick up three points, which is important that Newcastle do. Cracking ball, cracking. Oh, look at Cataldo. Go on, just keep running at him. Keep going.
Well, what a win. 3-0, fantastic. Nottingham Forest, of course, we've seen there, have won also. So it's still four points at the top and Newcastle United have that gap. More importantly, we've increased that gap with Burnley, who are in third now, which is eight points, but they do have two games in hand. And Newcastle's next game is away to Burnley. What a massive game that is, considering Burnley have two games in hand. But if we win that game, I personally think that knocks Burnley out and maybe come down to a two-horse race. So, let's get round. Obviously, you've seen the players on the pitch there. Johnny's going to grab Becky and one of the players, so let's head round and see what they've got to say about today's fantastic win. Betty, congratulations, a good performance, a 3-0 win at home. How do you assess today? Yeah, brilliant performance. I think, you know, again, to keep another clean sheet is really important, but I think the attacking threat we posed today was brilliant. Um, you know, two, well, two massively impactful players, Beth and Paige today. Obviously, Leah played as well. He was really consistent. Um, didn't lose a 1v1 duel, I don't think, the whole game. So, yeah, to see the three new players be starting the game and, and perform the way they did was, you know, fantastic. But, yeah, it's a team effort. And I thought every single player was, was absolutely brilliant and gave everything for that black and white shirt. Was it a risk to start all three today? Because it, a massive game against Wolves, so a very, very good outfit as well. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, there's lots of players who've been doing really well. Um, but again, you know, sometimes you've got to take that risk and the quality sh showed today. So I don't, I don't regret starting the three of them. I thought they all performed fantastically and it's about kicking on now. Page with two goals and two different types of goals, but I think Charlotte Potts deserves a mention for the first first goal. Just doing something a little bit different and Beth with their trickery and like good yeah. strikers, getting the right areas and you get your rewards. But fantastic to see and debut and getting two goals in front of this crowd. It, it must have been brilliant from a manager's point of view to see that as well. Yeah, you always wonder if players are going to hit the ground running or it's going to feel too much pressure, you know, again with the team and the crowd for the first time um, but she took it in a stride and I think she's a fantastic personality she's so relaxed but so competitive at the same time um, her finishing's excellent so we knew if we could get the ball to Paige she put it in the back of the net and she's done that twice today which is excellent there's a few others fantastic runs in behind in the first half and if it wasn't for the wind I reckon we'd have been in again but yeah I think um, we're really excited with the squad we've got and there's players who give absolutely everything week in week out if you look at the likes of Amber Stobbs, Charlotte Potts, um, Emma Kelly, to name a few. They give absolutely everything for the team, um, which is great. Gonna, I have to mention Olivia Watt. I thought she was absolutely yeah, outstanding really. today. I just think she just reads the game exceptionally well. What do you make of her recently? Because I think she's just been so composed, and for someone like. Yeah who hasn't really like I say, had an injury problems yeah. as well. She's done outstanding recently. Yeah, Liv didn't play a second last season due to injuries. Um, and she's just been so consistent this season, quality defender. Um, we say she tackles and stays on the ball somehow. So, yeah, she's been brilliant. I thought she was our best player against Manchester United. And she's just kept that consistency up. So, yeah, I'm really proud of Liv. Massive game next week against Burnley. Yeah. Loads of selection headaches. What <laughs> is the mentality going to be like this week? I know it's, you're probably going to say it's like every other game, but come on, it's Burnley. Yeah. They're up there with you, the same as yeah. Nottingham Forest who have won as well today. So how do you look into that particular yeah. game next week? Yeah, approach all games the same with the same professionalism and consistency that we hope to hope to display. Um, but yeah, we, we know we've beaten Burnley once this this season already. Um, we drew nil nil in the home fixture here. So we know we've got the quality to, to beat them. Um, but it's about thinking about what our game plan's going to be and how we're going to execute that. So yeah, obviously lots of selection headaches with a big squad, but um, lots of quality to pick, which is always a good thing. 
just finally war flags the demonstration did you have any idea when when no. you when you saw it, how did you how did you feel because we were trying to see you from obviously from the distance yeah. over there in the press box the press box it seems a little bit even a bit emotional looking yeah. at something like that how, how do you even feel when you see something like that yeah it was class i was literally just down the tunnel and obviously the girls are lining up and they're like becky becky look at that look at that and it was a massive banner obviously myself but yeah just really proud um it's not about me it's about the team but you know, I give absolutely everything every day to make sure that the girls have got the, the passions required to play for the black and white shirt, but also just, you know, be the best leader I can for everybody. So, um, yeah, I was really proud. It was a little bit tearful when I saw it at first, but yeah, absolutely incredible. Yeah, amazing bond you've got between the, the fans and yeah. yourself as well, but that's just Newcastle fans in a nutshell, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. It doesn't get any better and just really hope they come out and support the team when, yeah, every single of these nine games we've got left. Well done again. Thank you. Cheers. Paige, welcome to Newcastle. Fantastic performance today too, of course. How do you feel? Um, I'm really happy. Obviously, it wouldn't be nice to get a hat-trick, but I can't complain. It was a really good result from the girls. So, another three points on the board, and we look forward to Burnley next week. Two different types of goals. The first one, it's just a typical striker getting in the right area. How do you imagine that when you get, obviously, Beth on the right-hand side? Is it something that you've worked on in training, or is it just something that comes naturally to you? Uh, I think sometimes the number nine's always got to make that near-post run, so that... If it does go there, then you're there. And if it doesn't, then I draw some players. Um, and luckily, I made a, the right judgment. And, um... one, big girl. one, big girl. Fuck it, You got... You've got so many fans. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got so many fans, but in terms of the second goal, it's a different sort of goal. And it's a yeah. great finish, and you don't really have a lot of time to think about it. What, what, what were you even thinking at that moment in time? Just hit the target. That was the main thing. And then, obviously, the first one I missed, or actually she blocked it, and I was like, get a second chance, I've got to score this. So, yeah. Why Newcastle? But in terms of just in general, when the phone call or the conversation happened and you thought, actually, do you know what, this might be the right thing to do, what, what, what was your fair thoughts in regards to that? Ambition of the club. You know, the club wants to go good places and I want to do that as well. So my ambitions lined up with the club. And obviously, as I said previously, family feel. You know, it's a big support like today and uh, the support and the club and the girls and staff, everyone, you know, made me feel really welcome to have come. So I'm happy. Do you have any personal targets or personal goals for now to the end of the season? Um, just score goals. <laughs> That's it. Score and assist, help the team get three points every week. How did you find playing with obviously new players for the first time and how do you think you linked up well with obviously the attacking uh, wide players? Um, it's not that hard really. We've had like a good week of training and obviously I've said what I would do in, like, in games. And I know how some of the girls want to play so it's just having that relationship throughout the week um, to put ourselves in a game like this so where we can perform well even though it's only been a week. And finally, just a word on the fans. I don't know if you've ever seen like the pictures beforehand that they're thinking of on Newcastle United women are going places and you see the flags, even one of Becky today. Is it something that you've ever experienced before or is it, or is it just something that's just incredible to see? Uh, I've been at clubs with good support, but this is different. This is totally different. Um, you don't, sometimes you don't get as much um, fans at home. I've never really been to a home game where it's like 2,000 plus. So it's good to have fans that come out and obviously... I was watching the FA Cup game where they travelled down to Manchester, so it's good. It certainly is. Well, hopefully you keep on scoring more, goal, more and more goals and they'll be chanting your name throughout the whole rest of the season. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Interviews are done. Jeff's done his from Nova. We've done ours for NFTV. Johnny's had a dart because he's missing the Metro. Quickest he's ever rang. Quickest he's ever rang. It was the free travel.